Gage, I want you to know that tonight uh, you stand before your bride and as her father walked away moments ago, that wasn't just formality. It wasn't simply symbolic. Something is changing here tonight. You have a new responsibility, a responsibility that you've never had before. This is your bride. You are to love her to the point of absolute self-sacrifice. Your love is to know no end. You are her provider and her protector. Her parents have taken care of her and brought her to this point, but they should be able to lay their head on their pillows each night, knowing that you will do whatever it takes to protect and to care for Lacey, to provide for her for the rest of her life. To my groom, words, I'm not even gonna cry. I can't describe how excited I am for this day to finally be here. I have envisioned this day in my head for so long, and I am so excited to live this dream with you. You are my best friend, and I can't wait to do life with you forever. Only a few more hours until I get to call you my husband. Lacey, I want you to know that you stand here today. This is your husband. No one has forced you to be here. You are joyfully submitting to him and this opportunity to be here, to trust him, to follow his leadership. And uh, you're making a choice today that Gage will be your provider, that Gage will be your protector. And you're to love him through submitting to his leadership, supporting him, caring for him, through being the, the compliment that God has provided him. And I want to remind you as well today that when your father walked away, something really changed. Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 says, Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. As believers, we have an incredible privilege of knowing what the ultimate purpose for our marriage is. The purpose of our marriage goes beyond just personal fulfillment. The biblical purpose of marriage is not man-centered, it's God-centered. And your marriage is meant to point to the truth of our risen Savior who will return for his bride, the church, one day. Your marriage is meant to be the most faithful reflection of that relationship that it can possibly be. Father, I thank you so much for your incredible love. I thank you for Gage and Lacey. God, I thank you for the relationship that they have one another. God, I, I thank you for the love that they have for one another and, and how we see them uh, just a, a beautiful compliment to each other. God, I pray that uh, in the days ahead, you would allow them just simply to be reminded to stay focused on you. There are gonna be great times and there are gonna be difficult times. And I pray that in, in those highs and lows, God, that you would allow them just to be able to stay focused on you. We love you, and it's in your holy name we pray. Amen. Lacey, I have waited for this day for so long. I never thought it was possible for someone as genuinely beautiful and loving to be a part of my life. Words cannot express the amount of love and joy you bring to me every single day. I promise to try to be a little less hard-headed and a little quicker to admit I'm wrong. I'd like to welcome all of you here today and thank you for being here to help us celebrate Gage and Lacey. And here goes my allergies again. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I had a speech wrote up and I think I've told a couple of you, I, there's no way I'm going to make it through a speech. But I would say that I'm, I'm thankful that God brought all of us here today. I am thankful <laughs> for my daughter. Uh, the joy, the love. Whew. This is tough. This is tough. 
Uh, I'm thankful that she found Gage. You know, I got somebody that I can trust. I just wish that uh, everyone in here continues to be blessed. I hope that you'll continue to support them, help lead and guide them, and uh, have a good time tonight. I appreciate you for being here. Thank you. Lexi, I'll start with you. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. When Gage found you, that we realized a void that was missing in our family initially was filled. And today I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have, the, have you as a uh, member of our family and as my sister. Gage, 